I am sorry about the excessive levels of noise on yesterday's video, but, well, somebody was running a lawnmower and I have no control over that. Oh well. So, I'm holding a package here. Um, this is from uh, All Best Stuff, who make chain mail. It's a hauberk. So I'm just letting you know that right away before I dig in. Now, as you've probably seen from my other videos, I also make chain mail. I make very, well, reasonably good riveted mail of the same type, um, trying to make it as close as possible to the original. This is commercially made in India. Why did I buy a hauberk? Well, the, uh, the simplest answer is making mail takes time. It takes lots of time. Especially if you're making it from scratch. And if there's one thing that I, as a working man and college student, do not have, it's lots of time. So, I decided, screw it, I'm going to buy a Hauberk. And then, if you've ever heard of the Ship of Theseus paradox, it's where if you have an item of any kind in the uh, original text of the paradox, it's a ship belonging to the hero Theseus in Greek mythology. Um, if one board or one piece is replaced by an identical piece over a period spanning into years, decades, centuries, what have you, um, and the original pieces are kept and then reassembled. Which one is uh, which one is actually the original ship? Well, in this case, it's going to be rings of mail. Every time I tailor it, every time I need to do a repair, anything like that, it's going to be with rings that I made personally myself. Um, as for the rest of this, uh, get up. The belt is a Latigo strap from uh, Tandy Leather, and the fittings are from Lord of Battles. The tunic is on loan from Josh Wilson, and if, Josh, if you're watching this, I have to apologize. I intended to get this thing back to you a lot sooner. It's just that I'm horrible at remembering to go to the post office. Um, I will have it back to you by days and nights. I promise. Um, and this is just a Crown Royal whiskey bag. And obviously it's just a modern pocket knife. So, this tunic is going to be baggy on me, probably, and a bit ill-fitting. It wasn't custom made or anything good like that. It's just, it just sort of exists here. This is going to be a nightmare to clean up. But yeah, on first inspection, this looks pretty darn good. I'm not seeing any, any, any uh, bad rivets, just on first glance. It does seem to have a tendency to stick to itself, which is probably going to be a source of, oh, they forgot to rivet one, they forgot to rivet one. Probably more. Oh well. And of course, sticking to itself. Because the rivets are left high. Oh, this is going to need a lot of work. In the meantime, I've got to grab a 
I've got to grab my arming cap and then we'll see how this thing fits. Now that I'm in an arming cap, so that my hair doesn't suffer too much. Oh, this is going to be a difficult task. Hmm. I think I should have worn gloves. Oh, this crap's abrasive. Okay, this is the first time I've ever put on a hauberk in my entire life. So, if I'm doing this wrong, feel free to correct me. Oh my god. caught my beard. Squire? Oh, I don't have a squire. seen people do that. Now I know why. I think I have this one the second thing on backwards. going to require a lot of work. To make right. Oh, Jesus. Come here, you. Yeah, some of the reason for this not fitting me very well is because I'm freakishly tall, but the rest of it just doesn't have any excuse. I mean, seriously. Oh, missing rivets. What a joy. All right. Get this dang thing off. <sighs> I may have to turn myself upside down to get it off. I can still move, it's just that I need to take out a large portion of that, and then I have to buy a few sheets of the stuff to get it to hang down to below my knees, and then I need to buy a hood.
Alright, I'm ending the video here and I'll just let you know in the comment section if I get this thing off.